Hi everybody! Today I will show you how to convert Python files into executable programs. Now I'll be using my PyQt5 trivia game just as an example, but you guys feel free to use your own GUI applications instead. And while there's actually a few ways of doing this, in this tutorial we will only focus on auto py to exe because that's my favorite one. And let's begin by installing it. We will open our terminal, in my case, Anaconda, and we will activate our working environment. Then we will pip install autopy to exe. And once we have it installed, we can run it with autopy to exe. We will begin by selecting the main file of our project. In the case of my trivia app, this would be programmer.py. Next, we can either choose to save our app as a single file, or we can go for the one directory option. In my case, I don't really have a choice because my app consists of several files. I have two different logo files and I have a single functions.py file in addition to the main project file. That's why I would have to go for one directory. But if your app consists of a single Python file without any logos, without any additional documents, definitely go for the one file option. Next, we can either choose to display our console or we can choose to hide it. Now, in the case of my trivia app, if you guys remember, I am printing all the correct answers to the console. That's why for me, it makes much more sense to hide the console just so our users cannot cheat. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very boring trivia game when you know all the answers in advance. Next, we will generate an icon for our application. Now, if you guys are looking for a good example to icons, you can find them at the sidebar. All these lovely logos are actually icons and we would like our app to have something similar. Now, I personally find that the easiest way to generate ICO files is to first design them as PNG images. For an example, this would be the image that I designed for my trivia game. And you can do this easily with Paint, with Inkscape, with Photoshop, Illustrator, Almost all the graphics software, at least the ones I know, are able to generate PNG files. And then once we're happy with the file we designed, we will simply navigate to convertico.com. We will drag and drop our PNG icon right over here, and we will click on the white arrow. And then we can save our icon at an strategic spot on our computer. I usually paste it directly in the project files. Then we will click on browse and we will select the same ICO file that we just downloaded. And now it's time to add the rest of our project files in the additional files section. I will click on add files and for my project, I'm going to select both of my logos as well as functions.py and I will hit open. And since my application is quite simple, I don't have any folders to organize my data. I will not use the add folder option. However, if your application is much more complex, if you have all sorts of folders in there, definitely use it, okay? Next, we will actually skip the advanced section because we mostly need it when things go wrong. So if there are any issues with your conversion, this section will be your best friend because this is where all the debugging happens this is where you can import all sorts of modules that you didn't have access to before your conversion failed. Okay, so let's just minimize it. Lastly, inside the settings section, we will select the output folder, which is where we would like to save our program. In my case, I'm going to select the desktop. And now we are ready to convert our application by clicking on convert pi to exe. And once the conversion is complete, we will open the output folder where we can see a brand new folder called programmer, which we will click and we will look for programmer.exe, which is quite easy to find because that's the only black icon we have in the bunch. So let's go ahead and run our trivia game. Okay, let's give it a shot. Almost, you guys. I was so, so close. So it appears that I am only 90% programmer, which is kind of sad because I memorized most of the answers 
during the testing stage of the app, but that's okay. We only wanted to check if this program works or if it doesn't work, and it seems to work, so that's awesome. And now that we've turned our humble Python code into a full-blown desktop software, we can easily share it with our friends and with our family who know nothing about GitHub and nothing about Python, but still want to use our projects. Awesome! So now you guys know exactly how to convert your Python projects to fully functional programs. Good job! If you guys found this video helpful, please leave me a like, a comment, maybe subscribe to my channel or share this video with your friends because that way you're helping me too. Now thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon.